Hi everybody, today we're gonna to talk about coriander and one of my very favorite skincare products that Young Living has and it's called Sandalwood Moisture Cream. Love both of these products and I just don't wanna keep it to myself so I'm gonna share about it with you. Now coriander is from the family of PSCA. That's the plant family it belongs to. The other uh, things that belong to that family are carrots, parsley, cumin, dill, other uh, herbs and things that you you are familiar with seeing on the bottles in your kitchen when you cook. Well, you can get it in a liquid form from Young Living as an essential oil and use just a drop and it go a very long way and last a long time. So whenever we're talking about coriander, what's a little bit about the history? Well, it, coriander was found in Ramses II's tomb, the Egyptian pharaoh. So that's important to note. And then also Cairo University has done studies on how coriander seed can be used for supporting healthy glucose levels, healthy insulin levels, and supporting pancreatic function. So you might also want to do a search for that. That was Cairo University. Okay, now whenever we are talking about the uh, using it internally, coriander vitality, it is, it's got a little bit of a sweet taste. It's kind of fresh on my mind right now because I just used it in a dish that I had for lunch. I baked vegetables that had, it was a mix of broccoli and carrots and onions and I put just two drops and I baked these. It was very, very good. Sort of sweet. Uh, my daughter, I asked her what it smelled like to her as far as the fragrance goes and she said that it reminded her of sweet tarts and I have to agree. It's got, sweet is one of the things that comes to mind. But it is a very versatile oil. It's known to be used in Eastern and Latin dishes, but it's so versatile. I mean, you could put it in Chinese soups, you could put it in Mexican salsas, and it is popular. It's one of the popular seasonings or spices to be used in Indian spice mixes. But you can also take it as a digestive uh, supplement, a dietary supplement. You can create your own capsules. Young Living has vegetable capsules that you can buy. You can get them on Amazon. You can get them from your local health food store and just create your own vitamins. And when you do that and you ingest it, you're supporting your immune system, your digestive system, and especially the liver. It's got cleansing properties. You're supporting your endocrine system. That's the pancreas. You know, that's the one that comes to my mind. Having, you know, recalling that Cairo University did studies on that. Um, skin, great for skin, and it's power, it's got powerful antioxidants. So you can also add a couple of drops to water, put it in your mouth, swish it around, and your body's gonna benefit by supporting those body systems, but you're also supporting your overall oral health. So that's a good thing. That's always a good thing. Okay, now topically, you are able to use the coriander topically and you would just put it over your target areas but you would want to dilute with a carrier oil one of my very favorites is young living's v6 carrier all carrier oil uh, you could also use coconut oil or you could use um, unrefined cold pressed coconut oil is the one i mean not luan you could use olive oil, extra virgin olive oil. You could use grapeseed oil, almond oil. You have a, a, a wide variety of choices, but you would use a vegetable oil to dilute and you would dilute it one to one ratio. So if I put one drop on, you know, over my liver or pancreas area, then I would, which the liver, you know, is under the right side of your rib cage. The pancreas is just a little more to the center. If I wanted to put it topically there, then I would put a drop or two, and then I would put a drop or two of the vegetable oil, and I would apply it topically. Check your reference materials. When you check your reference materials, you're going to see even more uses for coriander, and it's going to help you know where the target areas there are that you might want to put it. Now, remember that I said it sort of has a, a sweet smell. It has got a sweet, warm fragrance. So one thing you could do is dilute it, apply it over your t your collarbone, and then your body, you're able to inhale it. Or you could put it in your diffuser necklace and inhale it throughout the day. It does have a soothing and calming um, benefit, so you could that would be a great way to use it. And again, Young Living does have a five mil coriander vitality and a 15 mil coriander. They're identical. The only difference is the label. All right, now why would I want to talk about sandalwood moisture cream right behind coriander? I want to talk about it because it contains coriander. So it's an, this particular cream, 
this one right here is the one that I am using right now whenever I use it when you use it regularly it kind of encourages uh, hydrating your skin it can help it be younger so it's an ultra hydrating moisturizer it's infused with wolfberry seed oil and pure essential oil some of some of my favorites myrrh lavender sandalwood rosemary ylang ylang bergamot it has geranium but remember it has coriander we talked about coriander a little bit ago it's great for skin that's why it's included in the sandalwood moisture cream so when you do use it daily though it's going to help encourage your skin to be moisturized it's going to help promote younger healthier skin it does contain wheat so if you're sensitive or allergic to to that if that's an issue for you be aware that sandalwood moisture cream does that have have that but let me tell you some of the things that the sandalwood moisture cream does not have that make me very happy when I used to get things like this from the local store the personal care products if you go look at you might look at your moisturizers your facial moisturizer that you have in your home right now or look at the ones at the store and parabens is something that this one does not have parabens is a problem because it increase it has an estrogen like uh, characteristic and it can increase your risk of breast cancer synthetic colors this does not have that but many do that are on the store shelves and those things those ingredients are known to be carcinogenic linked to ADHD in children this doesn't have that this is all natural oils fragrance that's a catch-all word for some very toxic chemicals that are known to cause problems with respiratory distress dermatitis allergies uh, reproductive system problems uh, hormone related problems so fragrance that word when you see a label on a bottle and it's like this long and then you see the word fragrance it does not mean smell good stuff it means add more ingredients because a company is able to put the word fragrance on their label to hide hundreds of ingredients that are toxic to our systems but this right here is going to encourage good health and it's going to help your skin be healthier okay young living has a lot of different moisture creams this is the one i'm using right now and really liking so i wanted to share it with you and if you're using this one i would love to hear what how you like it if you're using coriander what are you using it for and how do you like it take care hope you found this helpful bye